everyone, welcome to a brand new vlog. I've literally just finished up a workout. It is a wonderful sunny Sunday. Well, I say sunny. Dark clouds are starting to roll in, which is a real shame because I really wanted to eat outside for dinner. Oh, so that's sad. I'm just going to put on this really beautiful knit whilst I get ready with you. Which way round is it though? Can't make it out. You might be thinking, wow, Victoria, colour. Are you wearing a colour? Yes. Well, yes, I am, everybody. I was just very, very, very drawn to this shade when I saw it online. And I just thought as like a super cozy knit for in and around the house. Oh no, my nail, uh-oh. I thought it was just so gorgeous. So, I'm gonna put this on to get ready with you a little bit. I have an enormous net -a porte haul that I'm gonna show you in a minute. I am gearing up for a trip to Copenhagen. Is it the end of this week? Is it the end of this week coming up? So, so that'll be in this vlog. I've never been to Copenhagen before and I feel like it's going to be on like so me and like totally made for me and my, and my kind of vibes and clothing vibes and foodie vibes and everything else. So I just cannot wait for that. I'm just gonna open a Lara bar. These are my favorite, favorite ever health bar. They're not healthy, really. They're, I mean, it's gluten-free, dairy-free, plant-based, vegan, just four real ingredients. What does that mean? Dates, peanuts, semi-sweet chocolate chips, and sea salt. But anyway, it's really, really delicious. I just need something, I'm just getting like peckish. Mm -mm -mm -mm. So I wanna show you the net porte haul. So let's really quickly put on a face. I have so many nice fresh brushes. Oh, it makes me so happy when I actually bother to clean my brushes. It's probably one of my worst traits is forgetting to clean my brushes. Laneige cream skin mist clay de peau the serum honestly if you want to look at any clay de peau products start with this one <laughs> super hydrated skin from within augustina spada eye cream lumine day moisturizer oh it smells so nice is that thunder what it was so nice give me a break so for my previous video for my sephora haul kosas concealer in 3w it's too dark, unfortunately, but evens everything out at least. I'm not not using it because I paid for it, so I will make it work for me. <laughs> Vive 125 Highlight Brush. I just prefer this for concealer. This will help, I think, even everything out. Kosas Revealer Skin Improving Foundation in 150. Like this could not be more my skin tone if it tried. I picked well with this, just not the concealer even got my undertone right like i completely get the hype now around this foundation that is so so nice rare beauty blush lancome 250 charlotte tilbury airbrush bronzer in number two armani neo nude in 20 Anastasia Brow Wiz, Anastasia Brow Freeze, Makeup by Mario, I'm loving this, Pink Glow Lip Plumping Serum, it's really pretty, Anastasia Soft Glam Palette, two darkest shades just here, this is the Anastasia A3 brush by the way, a little bit of burnt orange around over the top and through the crease. And then one final brush just to like blend this all in. Okay, final thing. Victoria Beckham mascara. Honestly, I'd go as far as saying this is my favourite mascara for a long, long time. I mean, it just makes, look how separated and pretty these are. Okay, two things. I'm just going to add a little bit of the Hermes lipstick. I think my lips are a little bit too light now. Deepen them up. This is in 11. Oh, the other thing, I feel a bit pale. I'm going to add some Armani. I mean, I'm actually the right colour, really, for my skin tone right now, but I just want to add a little touch more. Just feel a little bit pale. Okay, and then, lastly, Urban Decay All Nighter. Patrick Tarfan. Okay, that's it. Makeup is done. 
let's unpack these boxes because I'm genuinely just so excited to see what I've bought. So um, let's do that. I've quickly curled my hair because as much as I was loving the straight, it just didn't feel quite as me today. So quickly curled and now I'm ready to get into my two enormous boxes. They are massive. This vlog contains a paid for advertorial with Netta Porte. So heavy, what have I ordered? So I ordered this massive box on the plane to New York last week and I got a little bit trigger happy, pressing like, oh go on, I'll try this, I'll try this. I just want a few new bits for Copenhagen. It's a, it, obviously it's this incredible like Scandi, cool, chic country and I wanted to take a couple of gorgeous outfits with me for it. Plus with the change in the weather and everything recently, I'm just feeling quite inspired. Oh. <laughs> Enormous box. Ooh. Okay, now I remember. That's why it's heavy. <laughs> now I remember. I have bought a number of pairs of jeans to try. And skirts and denim. Oh wow, look at this. <sighs> okay, I'm just trying this with my sports bra on. I think I've picked the right size. Okay, I'm thrilled. What size did I pick? 24. Now this is the one trend I haven't yet bought into. The denim midi skirt. And this one especially, I'd seen everywhere online. This I bought on the recommendation of Alana Davison, who said this is like the best black t-shirt she's ever tried. It's like this boyfriend fit tee, and it just drapes and it's super soft. Oh my gosh, I completely agree with her. I know exactly what she means now. It's stretchy, it's kind of oversized. I love the arms on this. I just tucked it fully in. It's just got that really cool fit to this. Yeah, it looks great. It's the kind of thing you just throw on every day and it just looks like undone and cool without really even trying. The skirt I think is fabulous. I think it's a great fit. I was always worried that if I, I've been putting off getting one of these because I thought it might splay out a bit too much in the kind of A-line shape, which just isn't me. But actually this allows enough room to walk while still having more of a tapered fit. So I think it's actually really quite flattering. I like this a lot. I like it a lot. What are these things? Oh my gosh, Todd's, of course. Right, yes. I'm a big fan of the Todd's footwear. They brought out these like slip-ons. These are so gorgeous. Look at that. That weave with the leather. Obviously it's just got a little thing behind here. These are gorge. I've gone for my usual size. Let's see. I mean, who am I even with all these flat shoes I keep buying, but the new chilled me that buys, buys flat shoes. Can you even see that? I am worried that you can't see. I mean, it's so, these are so cute. I kind of, I think what I've done though, I've bought these to go more with like the wide leg white trousers. So I'm gonna try these on again in a minute. Oh, this shirt just looks so heavenly. So, so heavenly. So the black t-shirt is a hit. Of course, I will leave everything in order of appearance down below, guys, for you, so that you have everything. Gorgeous beige shirt. Obviously, it's a little bit creased, but just trying to see through that. I just really liked the idea of this, again, tucked into something like this skirt. Oh, it's so nice. <laughs> so nice! It's exactly what I wanted. Super oversized, really relaxed. Like a throw-on piece, again, that just looks so off-duty. So cool. I really like it with just like a little bra top underneath. Could do it up a little more. Super casual, but beautiful material. Adore this as an outfit. So cool. I mean, I could also tuck this all the way in if I wanted to, but I quite like leaving it a little bit of shape. Great. Two fabulous pieces so far. Three, in fact, three fabulous pieces so far. Let's try a pair of trousers. Okay, my love of vests continues. Back to my younger self, my vest obsession for sure, but they're just the best basic piece to pair with trousers and blazers. So this one appealed to me because it's almost like a deep khaki brown shade. I've not got it on with a bra because he's got time for bras these days. Love the shade combo. Really love the shade combo with these trousers. Oh, these trousers are a dream. Trousers are... These trousers are fantastic. They're exactly what I wanted. Sitting on my hips, long finish right down to my feet. So they look great with a pair of trainers as well as heels. 
yeah I think ever ever since getting my hair dyed this colour I'm kind of mixing up and bringing a few more like darker tones into my wardrobe and I'm really enjoying it I must admit um, so I bought these trainers because currently I only have one pair of trainers um, which I've been wearing over and over which are right here these trainers honestly have been like the best thing to style everything with they just look really cool but I'm wearing them all the time and getting a bit beaten off so I bought this pair full white trainer don't know how much I love the the perforation but let's see I've got so many blisters right now I do love how slim line these are they're like a really skinny shoe super skinny but they're not so they've just got a really slim silhouette when you wear them so you want to see that little bit at the front of the toe this is totally my my vibe at the moment little white sneakers with wide leg trousers honestly my style has done a real 360 I mean, don't get me wrong i still love my heels whenever i can but i'm just so enjoying this laid back less formalized look without heels or boots like little trainers so comfy for every day i wonder if this would look cute over the top quite cute this is very very tonal like they're literally all in the same the same tones i really like it i really like it guys let's do another pair of trousers and with these let's try this gray tank this is the same style of tank as the last one just in a gray instead which honestly i didn't know if i'd love or not but i do love the shape of these i really quite i think with my new hair color the gray's kind of cool potentially might love the more deep browny green a tiny bit more it's kind of cool mm, i don't know but then we have the trousers which actually feel, I feel like these might be the same trousers as the last ones, but just in black. And I really am on like a binge at the moment of getting like perfect black trousers, like wide leg. These are fab. These are really great. Again, they sit on my hips, pockets. They're a great leg length all the way down to the floor. I'm just trying this all on with the little Todd, seeing as they're almost a more light color shoe. Yeah, they're really, they're really great with a pair of wide leg trousers. These look really good with a pair of wide leg trousers. Just that little bit of toe underneath, little poke of the beautiful Todd's emblem on the front. I kind of like these with the wide leg. I kind of, I kind of like the grey. I'm not sure if I'm more of a cream or white gal. But again, in terms of everything we've bought here, black shirt will look amazing with the trousers. This white beige shirt will look amazing with these trousers. I'm all about buying things right now that go with everything else. I'm gonna open the second box just to double check what else is in this one. Right, let's see. Let me throw in some colour. The colour I'm really liking right now are greens because I feel like they fall into neutrals. So quick debrief, gonna think about the grey. Absolutely in love with the black. The black fit grey, they're, they're, they're like the perfect, perfect black trouser. <laughs> so all I was thinking with this dress was, I love the colour. Shirt dresses are always a great addition in your wardrobe. And I just thought it looked like really beautiful quality, which it is. It's actually really pretty with the pockets. Gorgeous draping shape. It's very like garden party, like chic garden party feel. I don't know actually, I don't know if this feels a little bit me last year i don't know if it's a little bit too countrysidey for me now but it's a really stunning dress and the quality is beautiful back to the trousers this is also a skims body in the dark chocolate brown um, so these come in like all different skin tones as such like they go from super pale to super dark but i just really love the idea of having like a dark chocolate brown bodysuit brown bodysuit and then a pair of faux leather Trousers, I already have these in black, they're my absolute favourite and that's why I thought I'd try them in a cream. Now this is where these boots might come into their own. I've had to put on my glasses so I can actually see the monitor. I kind of like where I was going with this but I just don't think I love it for me. Having like darker shoes under white trousers I always find quite difficult to wear anyway. I kind of love the shape of the boots and the shape of the trousers alone are fab but actually i don't know if i'm 
veering more towards the wide leg side of life recently. So I don't know if maybe these aren't quite right for me right now. I'm literally now just playing around with outfits. Just trying on this blue skirt again to see what it looks like with the brown. And I love the combo. I think it's really gorgeous. More subtle than black. And then this gorgeous neutral shirt over the top. Might end up pulling this in like this. Or equally just tucking it in fully. Okay, I love it when things can be like mix and match together. Like that's what I'm going for. Okay, firstly, I've taken off the bra with the skims. I think it looks so much better without the bra. The point of buying so many light pants was because I wanted to find the perfect pair of light trousers for me. So that's why I bought a few pairs. Now these, unfortunately, are a little big. Oh, they're a size two. I mean, if they were up here, if they were literally on my waist, if they were on my waist, they'd still be a little bit too high. Perfect with heels, amazing. The fabric is really, really something else. It's stunning. They're just too big for me, so I'm gonna have a look to see if there is a smaller size. The back pocket detail is also super lovely with the flaps. The cream of the trousers is super nice. So yeah, these are lovely. I just need to see if there is a smaller size. These are more of a beige. Hi, hi, oh. I love it when he rolls on his back because he's being so playful. Okay, these are, a, the, again, a gorgeous pair of trousers. More beige toned, a little skinny belt that comes with it. They also have turn ups at the bottom. They'd fit me with heels, but I am more looking, especially for more like day wear trousers that can do both. I think I just about prefer these. And then the last pair, are more stone beige. These are a little bit more greyish to them. So they're all slightly different tones. Again, I really love the way these fit. So I think what I'm gonna do here, guys, is if I can get the other pair of cream in my size, I'll get them. And if not, I'm gonna keep this pair. You know, these almost have a bit of a green undertone to them. Again, I was looking for baggy, wide leg vibe, jeans as well as, as trousers. So I found this very light blue pair and they're really great they're super relaxed the leg length is fab the way the pockets are cut so far along gives them that very relaxed informal fit i do feel i maybe need like one less size around the waist but if i pull them a bit lower they fit oh i think i think i'm going to like these they're a little more fitted they are however button up they're a button fly which is never my favorite might be worth it that shape is really great because it's fitted on the bum it's more fitted up here but then the shape of the legs are lovely like a long straight leg i dress these up with a favorite pair of heels oh, oh, oh i have so many blisters love 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 them with a pair of heels so cool such a great shape such a great shape on the leg, the fit on the bum. And then over the top, let's see what this incredible shirt looks like. I like this as an outfit. It's really lovely as an outfit, I think. These jeans, I think, are a hit. But let's try the last pair. I lied to you. It's not another pair of jeans. It's a denim skirt, sorry. It's a light blue denim skirt this time, instead of the other one, which is a dark blue. And it's so nice. That leg slit up the front. It's lovely, it's a lovely fit. Cute pockets, again with the shirt. This shirt is becoming a bit of a winner. This goes with everything, this Nova shirt. And then just with the black t-shirt as well. I really, really like it. Bear in mind these are a size too small for me, but imagine if they were the right size. I feel like I'm getting bored with this. I feel like I could get on board with this style. Sorry, last one, I was just about to pack up and do a debrief, but I just wanted to show you this skirt and t-shirt with black heels, because I think it, I just think this makes it into a fantastic evening outfit. Like I can totally imagine wearing this in Copenhagen, going to like a cute little wine bar, somewhat relaxed, a little bit of elevation from the heels. So I've packed everything back up that I don't feel as excited about. I feel like I've chosen some really great pieces, but like I said, I don't need to keep four pairs of cream trousers or all of the jeans, for example. So I've kind of chosen my faves, and this is what I'm thinking. These black trousers, the black oversized t 
t-shirt that will just go with everything. Thinking these trousers, which are the same, actually I just realised they are the same, but they're in a beige, which makes sense to keep them because I feel like the fit is perfection on me. The length is perfect, the fit around the waist is perfect, So, and they're exactly what I've been looking for. Um, just like a wide leg trouser in like a beige cream. But these jeans are just the perfect day to night jean. Like, you can really style these up, but they're great for every day. The light blue midi skirt, I think, is an absolute winner. What a shape that is. But equally, I love this denim one too, and I feel it's quite different without the slit up the front. It's a very different vibe. Um, and also dark blue, so it's nice to have both. In terms of the tops, like I said, the skin's top this brown bodysuit because I don't have anything in a brown like this. And last but not least, this gorgeous shirt that I kept wearing with everything. So it's all very, very tonal. I mean, if you look at the colours that I'm keeping here, denims, beige, a brown, black and black. And then the beige shirt, like this is very much my colour scheme right now. And I'm going to keep these little trainers. I love how slim they are. They just look really sweet and they're a perfect little trainer to go with all of these wide leg trousers. Um, and they look great with the jeans as well, I tried them off the jeans. So yeah, so I've managed to, from like 20 pieces that I bought, I've whittled it down. So I realise this has probably gone on for a long time. A lot of pieces in here, but it was just a really good discovery session for me to be able to choose some bits that I really wanted to take with me on this trip to Copenhagen. So. For the rest of this vlog, we are going to be in Copenhagen and looking around and discovering the city for the first time I've never ever been and I cannot wait. So, right, on to the vlog. Hey guys, welcome to Copenhagen. I am thrilled to bits with my hotel choice. Feeling quite smug about it. I was asking actually on um, socials for some recommendations of different Copenhagen hotels. We've never been before. We don't know where's good or where people would recommend and I got so many recommendations from you guys. So obviously a lot of people love Copenhagen. So we've ended up staying at Hotel Sanders and it's just super chic. It just feels very like Soho homey. And then I realized when we checked in, I was like, God, it looks like Soho home in here, like Soho house. And he was like, oh, well, we are like a partner of Soho house. Like you can book our bedroom through the app and then you get discounts. So I was like, great, didn't know that, Never mind. <laughs> Never mind, because obviously I can't do the discount now, but anyway, we'll know next time. But yeah, super chic room, um, lovely big bed, and I've hung up all of my stuff in the wardrobe. Can I just get your uh, social life stuff, where is it? Yeah. Are you stealing my Larry King? Maybe. Yeah, just in here. This is the, this is the bathroom, just really chic, just really chic and cool, like concrete vibes. And then, yeah, sink. It should just be, have a look in here, husband. I don't know what, why this is all. Honestly, husbands move all the things around. I understand it. A little mirror, as I've shown before, wardrobe. I've hung up all of my new pieces that I've shown you the other day. So I've also brought my Saint Laurent blazer with me. My trousers that I got from Nita Porte. Like, honestly, pretty much everything that I showed you the other day. But I'll be able to like wear them in situ and show you me wearing them. Um, I'm wearing the black t-shirt. I'll be honest, I haven't taken this off since I did the haul the other day. But I was like, I'm just gonna wear it again. So the black t-shirt tucked into those fabulous jeans, the blue, the light blue relaxed long length jeans. And then I was just wearing my little Veja trainers with it, YSL, red jacket. And then I just wore my little Celine bag for the trip. But now we've literally just got here. Oh, we also managed to dodge a really difficult and annoying situation. Alex unfortunately left his phone on the plane, which we think is because there was a, a little um, old lady that was sat behind us. And as we were about to get off, she kind of threw her handbag onto our seat. We don't really know why, but she did anyway. And I think in doing that, she accidentally covered Alex's phone on the chair. So we got off the flight, got through passport control, like we stormed through, there was no one there. Stormed through, got through, we're all happy. And then we're like, oh, where's, where's my phone? Luckily, luckily, somehow someone had given it to the check-in desk at like check-in. I don't know if that's protocol or not though. I don't think it's protocol. I, I was like, this is gonna be such a long-winded way to get this phone back. We're gonna have to like speak to loads of people, go to the lost and found of that plane. But anyway, so I don't know what happened, but someone gave Alex's phone to one of the women on the check-in desk of that to get for the people getting back on that plane. 
So it was really, really handy. I just rang his phone and she picked up and I was like, my husband's lost his phone. Nightmare diverted. We've got the phone. We're just about half an hour later back to the hotel. And we're in a bit of a rush because I'm meeting my uncles here. They're big fans of Copenhagen. They've got They're friends here. here. They're always here. So when we said we were finally coming, they were over the moon. So we're meeting them for dinner. They're taking us for dinner in some a really Copenhagen vibe restaurant. And then they're going to take us to Tivoli Gardens for afters. So I've got 10 minutes to get on a new outfit. So I better hurry up. God, this has been the quickest change ever. Quick change. So I'm wearing the beautiful totem beige trousers tucked them in with a totem vest. This beautiful Loewe pendant. Have you seen this yet? This pendant. It's nice, isn't it? Mm. I got it for the Maldives, but didn't really wear it very much because I, I went quite jewelry free and carefree in the Maldives. Um, anyway, YSL belt to kind of match the beige. And then my Saint Laurent blazer over top. Yeah, I think that's, do I look okay? Very chilled and relaxed, eh, aren't I? Let's go! Look at this. Oh, it's just a idyllic. It's totally what I was imagining it would be. Just super I love cute. It. And we're going here. Yeah. This little, yeah, what's it called? Fergie Cafe. Fergie Cafe. A large one, yes. Yes, please. Yes, yes. So this is horseradish? Horseradish. Horseradish. And Moby Dick for the wild. Oh, wow. Wow. Of course, it goes with the. It goes with the. Yes, please. Yes, please. Yes, please. Yes, please. Yes, please. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Amazing. Enjoy. Thank Remember you. to drink like you would a glass. Uh, we can't do cheers. Mine's too full. Oh yeah, mine's really full. All right, just cheers up. All right, cheers. Cheers up. Skull. Kev, Kev, we might get our hands on the Instagram posts. Yeah. <laughs> oh, four. Wow. Does it taste of horseradish? Because that seems quite weird. Have you ever seen Wisteria grow this much and this hat? Look how high it goes. Oh, stunning, absolutely stunning. Wow. Thus far, absolutely loving Copenhagen. We've been here about two hours. My uncles Andy and Kevin took us to a really cool, like, local bar called Fer. Fer, Fer Fairy, fairy Cafe, absolutely delicious. Such a, such lovely people. Everyone's so friendly. Like we keep saying, it kind of gives us like Manchester vibes. Manchester meets like Amsterdam vibes. Super friendly, super happy people. Gorgeous, but really clean and fresh. And ugh, yeah, absolutely in love with the place so far. Only been here two hours. The other side of town. Oh, you might so say, good. why not? Did you know where we start to go? So this is the Tivoli Gardens. We're just having to leave because it shuts at 10. And it's now about half past 10. We've been having a drink, but it's absolutely beautiful. It's so cute. Like it's hard to like liken it to anything else. It almost feels like a really cute amusement park without the tackiness and without like the Disney characters. You know what I mean? Like a upmarket amusement park. Super, super cute. Little ship. Little ship. <laughs> Morning everyone. We have just got up, got ourselves ready and we're about to go down for a little bit of breakfast. So I don't know if I've mentioned but we are meeting, um, so it's very baby. we're meeting um, in fact my oldest friend ever. I was thinking the other day I think we've known each other now for probably 30 years. 30. Getting old. 30 years. <laughs> I'm going to have to say that to her in a minute. 30 years I've known someone, that's madness. Um, when we got talking about Copenhagen and wanting to come here, she messaged me and said, we've always wanted to go, can we come too? And I was like, fantastic, let's make this a friends trip. So we're here together. So we're gonna go meet those guys now this morning. But first of all, we're just gonna go for a quick coffee and a little bit of, a little bit of breakfast before we see them and then have another brunch. <laughs> so we're gonna go downstairs in the hotel because I've got a feeling they're gonna do good coffee here. Fingers crossed for me. Oh, morning's outfit, so ouch. Today I'm wearing the exact same thing I wore last night because I didn't get to photograph it and I'm gonna take a little picture in my lovely new trousers. Plus, why not wear two things, things again? In fact, yesterday I was looking at my, I didn't say to you, I was on my TikTok. Someone wrote a comment saying, oh, you've worn this YSL jacket too much now, can you wear something else? 
I was like, this cost me a fortune, I'm going to wear it as much as I want to, like, stop It'd be funny, like, I wear the same jacket. I'm pretty sure everybody buys a nice jacket and wears it every yeah. single day until you get bored of it. I think we've just got this culture where it's all about, like, only wearing one thing once. Well, that's fast fashion for you, isn't it? Well, exactly, like, I don't want to do that. Like, this Saint Laurent blazer, I've worn it over and over and over. Like, these, I know, I was going to say, though, you maybe should start switching it up. <laughs> Like this sling bag. Imagine if you just wore the same bag once. Because, it, like, this bag was cheaper than that jacket was. I mean, come on. So I was like, no. And let's not promote the idea of only wearing one thing once. Like, I want to wear a white or jacket because I'm wearing my white or jacket. Anyway, so. Ranto. That's why, that's why I'm wearing this full outfit again. Because I really, really loved it last night. And I want to wear it again. So, we're on our way out. Oh, look at the avocado toast. Oh, that's so cute. Uh, this one. Oh, Thank you. Of course. Thank you. We all did so well here. This is great choices. See, I'm missing it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Okay. I was just I couldn't tell if it was like, um, they'd already took my shell off or not. <laughs> it does look a bit like that. So, I've ordered, it's rye bread. This is whipped butter. Oh my gosh. Compte cheese and an egg. This is such a great place. What's it called? Atelier September. Atelier September. Oh, this is Nat and Miguel. Hi. <laughs> okay, recommendation number one. This is where I've just been, Atelier September. That breakfast was unreal. Who'd have known? Just a little bit of rye bread, one dippy egg, dippy egg, soft boiled egg, and some Compte cheese with a little bit of whipped butter. Absolute heaven on a plate. Heaven on a plate. So recommend it. Um, didn't, didn't love the coffee as much only because the oat milk wasn't my, the usual oat milk I go for and it has it's almost like a, a tang to the taste when it's like minor figures or plenish. It has like a, a tang which I don't love. So it wasn't, I prefer the uh, Hotel Sanders coffee I think overall but really really great place if you want to go for some food. <laughs> I think. So this is like an indoor food market with lots of different markets and it's my favourite kind of place to visit. Oh yeah! You know, oh my gosh! This is wonderful. Me and Nat have our wine in the sun. The boys have their beers. It's a really, really uh, famous and very busy touristy spot but fantastic like inside the amount of different like wine, cheese, bread, food places. Unreal. So me and now I've got ourselves a little Sauvignon Blanc and a Chardonnay in the sun and absolutely, oh, it's delicious. Okay, so now we're walking down the second area. What the hell is that thing? That is, that is absolutely terrifying. <laughs> so we've just got ourselves some ice creams from this incredible ice cream place called Maggie's. This is delicious. I've got mango, peach and candy floss flavour. This place, Maggie's. La, La Boca. They do little empanadas and I'm having an arec, which looks like this. Miguel reckons this is Venezuelan. It's like a pancakey bready thing with beans, some kind of cheese, cheese, guacamole and some rocket. I mean, this is like my idea of heaven right now. Now we're being mega tourists and we've all got bikes. And this is like a little orange one. I like the donkey here. <laughs> oh, so, no, it's so bright. Absolutely loving it. Such a nice little way to get around and see a few more things in the city. Although, I must admit, I'm not the biggest fan of bikes. I'm also not very good at them. <laughs> it's just a nice little group activity. Right, what can I tell you about today? I'm almost hoping to keep this vlog as a bit of a like diary of what we did and what we saw and what we'd want to do again. <laughs> so, yeah, debrief. Atelier September, fantastic cafe, unreal breakfast food. We got on some bikes, we literally just got, we got the Donkey Republic app and just got on some orange Donkey Republic Which bikes. Which you would never do, so I'm pretty impressed you actually did that. Really enjoyed it. Yeah. It was just nice to see the city on a bike. Um, so we did that. Um, they, have, they have loads of apps, so I think Nat and Miguel got on one called Tia and you just get on the bikes and then you drop them off at the next point they had along. The electric ones. Yeah, they had electric they ones. Were great. Far better than our ones. Um, 
where else did we go? Then we went to that fantastic food market, which I could have stayed there all day, to be honest, just going round from place to place, getting like a glass of wine, getting a dessert, then an ice cream, then more food. That was fantastic, so recommend that. Definitely want to do that again tomorrow, really. So I absolutely love that. On the, In the meantime, like walking to Atelier September, we walked through a gorgeous park. I'm sure it's called like the King's Park or something. So we walked through that, which was beautiful. Then we walked through the Botanical Gardens at the National National History Museum of Copenhagen, I think. That was beautiful. So we've actually done a hell of a lot of walking today. And then we went past, I think it's called Nihaven. It's a really popular street with all the colourful houses that you'll see on Instagram all the time and I mean it's packed because it's super touristy but we just sat out there before for like a good hour and a half with a drink and it was beaming sunshine and it was so busy and it was just really really great so that was fantastic so we've come back those guys have gone back to their place to get ready we've got ready and we're ready to now go out for some dinner but we've unfortunately forgotten to book we've booked tomorrow night's dinner have we, booked something now? we have yeah. what have we booked um Oh, I didn't know we'd booked some stuff. It's called Rebel. Rebel. Mm -hmm. Okay, what has it been recommended? Great, go to somewhere called Rebel. Great, that's good news then. I thought we were just going to go and walk around Nihaven again. Babe, would you please show my outfit for me? I really love this outfit. I like this pairing together. So it's the really gorgeous frame, light denim blue midi skirt with the slit. Um, so I've paired it with a pair of heels, just so I feel a little bit more me. It looks really good with the heels though, don't you think? So I've gone with the, the light uh, Saint Laurent heels. I'll link all this down below for you as well. Then the gorgeous beige shirt, I've just tucked it fully in, but then rolled up the sleeves to give it a bit more shape for me. And then I've gone for loads of my Edge of Ember pieces, so the beautiful Mother of Pearl, um, Mother of Pearl pendant, plus some matching droplet earrings. And then I've gone for kind of like all the matching pieces here, plus the beautiful Orion ring from my Cosmos collection, the very first one that I did. It's probably still like my favourite piece that I've designed. It's so co how cool is that piece? And then bag of the night. Oh. Back of the night, I'm taking my little YSL. I just thought it kind of goes with the more pastelized shades, the light coloured shades. I don't know about a jacket. Are you taking a jacket? We'll probably need one. I'll take some form of jacket, but it's probably not going to match with my outfit. We'll see. But this is tonight's look. Is it delicious? Well, it's unreal. Yeah. This is unreal. I mean, this looks fantastic. I know he was so sweet. So you've got the poach con. This, this butter, this butter is out of this world. Chicken, tomatoes. We can see that on the menu. It's the mackerel. Oh. And I've got a cheese ball. Underneath, yeah. He's, he's, yeah, he's there very quickly. The mackerel. Guys, the second day in Copenhagen, and so we are, I think, kind of doing more of the same that we've been doing just lots of sightseeing, just walking around, just enjoying each other's company, having lots of nice food and coffees. So, I'm really excited for another day because we have glorious, glorious skies outside again. So, I'm going for quite a nice, like, somewhat summery outfit for this time of year. Um, lovely denim skirt from Reformation that I showed you, my little Chanel flats just because I either have trainers or these kind of flats and I feel like I'm not quite in the zone where I can wear trainers with this skirt and make it look really classy and chic so I felt like the little ballerinas just work really nice. little Versace belt, um, this really pretty Lisette knit, cashmere knit in a dark blue over the top over a black totem tank. Again, I'll link all this for you in net a -porte. Um, And then, in terms of jewellery, um, in terms of jewellery, I'm wearing my big coin choker um, necklace from my Gaia collection with Edge of Ember. And I'm really back loving my Cosmos collection. So I'm wearing the Constellation ring. I think we still make this. And the Orion ring. I'm very certain we still make the Orion ring. It's my absolute favourite. And then from Gaia, I have the really pretty little uh, emerald ring. And also the Mother of Pearl ring as well. So just a few little bits. And then for shades, today I'm wearing these. Just a little bit more over the top and cool, but really, really love them. So yeah, that is my look for the day. And I'm taking out with me the Kelly. Because I feel like this is um, a bag that I don't wear enough. And I thought that with this lovely like blue outfit, and the sunshine today, it would just be really pretty to wear like a nice yellow bag with all of this blue, like navy. So, 
Plus it has a blue, a blue twilly on it. So yes, that is the idea. We are just gonna go out and get some coffees to start the day. Well, that looks divine. Look at Alex's food. Oh my God. Chocolate cinnamon swirl bun. I have a chocolate croissant, which is absolutely enormous. And then we have coffees from the hotel. This is a really nice, a really nice cafe What's called it? Emery's. 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 It's just off near. Fine. Probably been eating chocolate yet. Yesterday's yeah. chocolate. Yeah. It's a lovely, like organic, organic cafe. Really, really nice. So we're currently just walking around and exploring, and honestly, like the places you can find here. It's this gorgeous little square, a bit more quiet and chill. Final morning in Copenhagen. I'm sorry that we didn't get to film much more of yesterday. I don't even know where we got up to actually. But it all just got busy and we had to quickly get ready for our dinner and then just completely forgot to vlog anything else of that day. But in honesty, the things I was wearing, I was wearing the jeans that I wore on the way here and I wore my Holland Cooper cashmere roll neck top all like tucked in. We had a wonderful meal. We went to a fantastic Michelin star restaurant called Jatak. I would so recommend it. It was like a eight course, that little eight course meal. Really cool ambience in there, fantastic staff. The chefs came over and handed you the plates each time, talked you through what they were. And we just had such a fantastic evening. We were there for like three hours. It's all spaced out so nicely, just having lots of like fantastic conversation and just absolutely loved it. Just, it was brilliant. So, so recommend that if you're looking for something a bit more like super special and more of an experience, it was really, really great. Yeah, there was only like six tables in there. Yeah, yeah, there was, there was one too. And then there was people in the bar as well. True, yeah. Yeah, yeah. maybe eight. Yeah, so there's about six tables where we were sat. And then you can also book to be literally on the chef's table. So along the edge of where the chef is cooking. I can imagine that's really cool actually watching make those dishes. Yeah, I, may, I imagine it's cool, but I think for the fact that it was four of us, if you were two, I think it'd be great. But as a four, we would have been sat in a row. So we wouldn't mm. be able to converse the same. But if we'd been a two, it would have been great, I think. So we had a we had a really fantastic night. I like I've just put in a couple of shots there of the food. Like the finishing dessert, black tea, of puree that almost tastes like fruity but black tea and then with this sweet potato cheesecake kind of filling and this crumbly amazing crust i'm probably not selling it but it was just divine <laughs> so we had such a great evening anyway we are just going to go down for some coffees in the hotel because we're leaving quite soon so today's look is i didn't show you this actually in my in the start of the video but this is also from Nutta Porte it's obvious where it's from um but I got this I got this actually for the Maldives as like a throw over t-shirt and I realized that it doesn't fit into the quiet luxury trend but who cares I just think it's a really cool oversized t-shirt and it's great for today we're doing a little bit of travel and just being quite chilled then I'm wearing Valentino little thin Valentino belt the black trousers the black toe tem trousers Plus the golden goose trainers. So I'm just hoping that these don't start to rub me on the way to the airport, because that would be a shame. <laughs> um, and then for jacket again, I'm wearing my burgundy YSL jacket. I mean, I'll, I'll link this just in case there are any left online. I don't know if there will be. I got the 34 in that jacket and it's been like my most worn piece ever probably. I will probably sign out of the vlog now because you've probably seen, already seen the coffees here. But so I'll sign out of the vlog now. Thank you for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you've kind of learned a few things about Copenhagen and um, that maybe you were interested in. I'm also going to do like a, a roundup post on my Instagram as well of like a few places that we've loved just so I can also remember. But um, yeah, all of the links for all the outfits are down below. So uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed them and I'll see you in the next one.